On a computer, the terminal is the graphical window that allows you to access the command line. This command line is a method to interact with your machine through lines of text. These lines of text are called commands and they are instructions for your machine. Any operation that you would do with your mouse on the screen can be performed with the keyboard through the terminal, but in a much faster way. The program that will interpret and execute your commands is called a shell. There are many of them, but in this tutorial, we will be using bash. Mastering the terminal is a very important step of your journey into coding. It will allow you to gain speed and efficiency when using your computer. Some very complex actions can be managed with just one single line of command. But most importantly, you will be able to use your new skills to write some scripts that will automate important actions, like the monitoring of a server or the backups of a database. Let's dive into it. First, we need to open the terminal window. On macOS, you can find it easily with the finder. When you open the terminal window, you will be given what is called the prompt. This is this first line of colored text that you can see here on my screen. You can personalize the prompt in the shell you are using. In my case, my prompt is showing me the name of the user and the name of the machine I'm currently working on. After this prompt, you can enter your first command. Most commands will follow the same structure. First, the command itself, then, some options to personalize the behavior, and finally, some file or data. I will now show you three basic commands to navigate within your machine directly using the terminal. The first command is called PWD. PWD stands for Print Working Directory. It will show you where you are in the tree of your computer. To use it, simply type the command. As you can see, the command will give you the full path of where you are currently. In my case, I'm in my home folder under users. By running PWD at any time, you can know where you are in the computer and where the commands will be used. To change the directory and move around in the computer, you would use the CD command. CD command allows you to go anywhere using either absolute or relative paths. Let's try it with an absolute path. I could want to go through my documents folder that is located under my home. You can see in my prompt that I am now located in my documents folder. I can also use the command that we previously saw and run PWD. You can also use the CD command with relative paths. For relative path, you can use the dot dot symbol. Dot dot would move you one directory up in your tree and your computer. By doing so, and then running PWD, you can see that we moved again back up into the TO folder. Finally, you can use CD without an argument or with just the tilt symbol to go back to your home directory. In my case, user TO. With these two commands, you learn how to navigate and how to know where you are on your computer. To see what's inside the directory, use the ls command. ls stands for list. Simply type ls and press enter. In my case, you can see all the content that I have in this directory. I will now show you how we could use some options to personalize the behavior of the ls command. These options are also called flags and start with a dash. If you type flag A, you would list every file located in this directory, including headed files. Here, ls A shows you all files in the directory, including the hidden ones. The hidden files are the ones starting with a dot. Finally, you can use the L flag to display your content in a long format. Just type ls-l and you will be given the long format that also shows you the permissions to these files. As you can imagine, there are plenty of commands that you can run into the terminal. But don't worry, this video is not about me typing them one by one. Click on the description below to access our cheat sheet on GitHub that will list you the most important ones and their common options. You will see that they are grouped in six categories. You can read it to learn how to move around in the terminal, manage the terminal output, manage files within the terminal, look for files within your computer, manage permissions and ownerships of both files and directories, and last but not least, manage redirection and pipes within the terminal. I know that the terminal might seem a little bit intimidating the first time you see it, but don't worry. Practice makes it easy and fast. Happy coding!